Sometimes you talk about the things that you love. Sometimes you talk about the things that you hate. Sometimes you talk about the people that you like. Sometimes you talk about people you don't really care about. And sometimes you talk about the people that you hate. But the one thing that I try to do is be consistent, ladies and gentlemen. Which is why I have beer that gets consistent. But ladies and gentlemen, Tim Allen has announced... A new Santa Claus movie. And the Twitters are in a kerfuffle. And I have opinions on Tim Allen returning to the Santa Claus role. This happens to be one of those nights where I talk about an actor that I deeply, deeply love. I think that Tim Allen is absolutely fantastic. I have been watching his career since I was old enough to watch his career, starting with Home Improvement, which was an absolutely fantastic show. I've watched movies that he has been in. I mean, Jungle to Jungle was absolutely fantastic. If you guys don't remember that, one of my favorite movies that a lot of people don't know about him, which I thought he was fantastic. And I think it was, was it called Zoom. It was a superhero movie where he was an old school superhero who had to train a new generation of superheroes and learn to come back into it. If I got the title wrong, let me know. But ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, only to be surpassed by Die Hard, is Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. The first one, the original one. And ladies and gentlemen, Tim Allen is back as Santa Claus. So without any further ado, let's stop bearing the lead over here on the New York Post. And why did I pull this one up? Yeah, because I could. There's a lot of articles. New York Post does I. So we're going to pull that up. That turkey looks wrong. Anyway, <clears throat> Tim Allen attacked by woke mob over problematic Christmas joke in Santa Claus. Oh, all right. So the New York Post is going to point out some obvious things here. We all know that they're going to point out obvious things. Just roll with me on it, please. It's a Thursday night video, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done a Thursday night video in a while. So beloved sitcom dad Tim Allen was slammed Thursday by woke Twitter users after saying Merry Christmas is suddenly problematic in his brand new Disney Plus show, The Santa Claus. Um... So, no, uh, um, and, and he knows this, and I know this, but Merry Christmas has been problematic for, like, 40 years. That's what you're not supposed to say. That's why it's Happy Holidays, right? Well, Christmas isn't the only one that happens. Or like, well, you know what? I would look at somebody if I didn't know where they came from, and I would say, to you, Merry Christmas. And if somebody looked back at me and say, and they were like, hey, and to you... Happy Kanaka, or into you, you know, happy Kwanzaa or Merry Kwanzaa, or however they say it. And I would say thank you so much. You know why? Because well wishes is exactly what they are. It's like looking at somebody and say, man, I hope you have a good day on Thursday. And said, well, I actually like call it Thursday. So happy Thursday to you, right? I would say, you know what? Thank you. It's like if anybody says, hey, I'm, I'm praying for you, I don't care what religion you are. But people don't see it that way. But anyway, let's get old. The 69-year-old actor who has never been shy about his political beliefs was frosted out by uh, Twitter users for using the line in his scripted holiday show. Santa had the red hat all along and we just ignored it, wrote one user referring to the Make America Great Again hats made famous by former President Donald Trump. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's a there there's a through line here. Just get there. With, there's a through line. Stop it. Stop it. There's a through line. I'll get there. Just just wait. Just chill with me. Have a drink with crazy. Mm. Oh, and that is a wonderful Dorothy's New World. Mm. Oh, that's a good lager. Oh, I need to go. Okay. Yeah, so Alan, who has supported the former president in the past, returned to his 1994 role as Scott calvin who accidentally kills the christmas icon before assuming he didn't no he didn't um new york post do you need to do some editing work here he did not accidentally kill santa claus he asked hey who's on my roof and santa claus 
slipped on a snowy roof and fell down because he was surprised that somebody said it. Uh, that would not fall under accidentally killing him. In fact, I believe he would be acquitted from all charges. So anyway, who accidentally kills a Christmas icon before assuming the mantle himself in the new Disney show after portraying him in three films? The scene that caused uh, the frostbite depicts Calvin being asked if somebody was bothering him, to which he responds saying, Merry Christmas to all, has suddenly become problematic. Um, I see the context here, and there is some lovely pictures here, and the New York Post is definitely uh, relying on the photos here. Wow, this is like half a Twitter post, an article. Let's get back over here. Ladies and gentlemen, did anybody think that this was newsworthy? Oh, hey, people on Twitter who are obviously left-leaning don't like the actor returning to a role who is obviously right-leaning. Like... It doesn't matter what he said. It has nothing to do with what he said. This is absolute fake outrage, and I cannot believe that this is the thing that they're running with. You know what they should be running with? 69-year-old actor Tim Allen returns to the role as Santa Claus. Now, although his beard might be closer to the color of the Santa, should he be returning to this role after almost... 30 years. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have my thoughts on this, and I think for those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you know where my thoughts are. There are some actors out there that I love and some actors out there that I don't. But the one thing that I want to see actors constantly doing is pushing the boundaries and finding new roles that they enjoy playing and bringing something new to the table. Now, although my wife flat out told me, you better tread carefully with this one because this could sink us. Oh, because she's like, no, you, mm -mm, it's Tim Allen. It's Santa Claus. I'm like, baby, I'm doing a video on it. <clears throat> I might be sleeping on the couch tonight, but that's okay. For the love of a drink with crazy... I will sleep on the couch tonight. I do not think that Tim Allen should be returning to the Santa Claus role. One, because it is obviously controlled. The IP holder is obviously somebody who absolutely hates everything that Tim Allen stands for. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, they're just gaming the system. They're trying to make money. And I highly doubt it with the way that they've been acting over the last, like, I don't know, decade. I think that Tim Allen is absolutely fantastic. I love him. I, I Home Improvement was awesome. That other show that he did mo more recently where it was family-based. Oh, and I watched it. I watched like multiple seasons of it. They swapped out the daughter in one season. Uh, he worked at what, essentially what was like a Bass Pro shop, but it's not Bass Pro because, you know, legal reasons. But that stuff there. I love Tim Allen in those roles. I love him as a family man. I think he's absolutely fantastic. I watched every single episode of Home Improvement that I possibly could because it was airing on traditional television, which is something that a lot of people don't even watch anymore. Heck, I don't even watch it anymore. But here is where I'm at. Should he be returning to this role? Should the version of Santa Claus, which Tim Allen encapsulates very well with the exception of the third movie which should tell you something no tim allen i love you as an actor i think you're absolutely fantastic walk away pick a new role find that new thing find that thing that you like because i will be there for it but santa claus 4 i can't say that i'll be there for as much as i think that your political takes are awesome as much as I, I would I would love to sit down with you, and I don't even know if you, you drink beer. I would drink an iced tea with you. I would have a cup of coffee with you, Tim Allen. In fact, I would just be honored to sit down at a table with you. Walk away. The day and age of reboots, redos, sequels, we need to leave that behind us. It's time to find the stories that still can be told with newer characters, the traditional stories, the ones that we have come to love over thousands of years. I mean, heck, we saw it with the Romans and the Greeks. Boy, they retconned their gods a lot, didn't they? And for those of you who know that history, it gets fun. 
The day of the retcon is over, but it seems that we as human beings are the type of people, retcon, sequel, you understand what I'm saying. But it seems that we as human beings are the type of, of being that we like to latch on to things. We want that thing that makes us comfortable. We want that thing that makes us feel safe. And guess what? The corpo a-holes that know that, that have psychologists that they hire, teams of psychologists that they hire to work against us to make sure that they can pull every single cent out of our pocketbook, know this as well. And that is why, and that is the only reason that Tim Allen is back as Santa Claus because they want to pull every dollar and dime that they can out of your pocketbook while trying to say that they never had a problem with it or oh no Tim Allen you know he he's just he's so perfect as Santa Claus and we just no Tim Allen is perfect to pull money out of your pocketbook and it is not Tim Allen doing this and here's the thing Tim Allen loves playing Santa Claus I love Tim Allen playing Santa Claus. But he needs to walk away. I'll still watch the Santa Claus movies every year after Die Hard. After Die Hard! Okay? Die Hard first. Then the Santa Claus. Then probably like Home Alone. Pro and like in that order. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this video down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Tim Allen. Let me know what you guys think about him and his portrayal of Santa Claus. Let me know if I'm totally off base. If you love me or hate me, I want to hear it down below because I dedicate a special live stream to everybody who comments on my channel on Sundays. It is called Sunday Coffee, where I read all of the comments from the last week's videos. And I make sure that if you guys are spending time to comment to me and tell me what you think, I dedicate my time to you because I feel like that is the best thing that I can do. If you guys want to further join the A Drink With Crazy community, check out the Gilded link down in the description below. That is a place where writers and authors and just me, we are, we're there. We're readers, we're checking out the Iron Age of media and what's happening with that cultural movement. And it is something so fantastic and something that I would like to welcome everybody to. And with all of that being said, subscribe and like if you like what I'm doing here. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.